Hey guys, and welcome to Functional Friday. Today we're going to talk about guitar picks. Should you use them? Are they useful? What size should you get? How thick? How thin? All these questions we'll try and get to. So different sizes are useful for different things. If you start with thin picks, those generally are a little bit better for a strum. Thicker picks are usually a little bit better for accuracy or single notes. And anywhere in between can be a middle ground that most guitar players at some point in their life kind of gravitate to if they're a pick player. You don't have to play with a pick. There's lots of people, Mark Knopfler, uh, other people that don't but i like to play with one i like to not play with one as well but i think that as a professional it's nice to be able to do a lot of different things like chicken picking hobby picking which is almost chicken picking and playing without a pick finger style also just straight up picking or double picking however you want to think of it so when I was young, I started with thinner picks, not thin, thinner. The only time I've ever had a thin pick in my life is when some random person's like, oh, hey, you're a guitar player. I found this pick on the ground because someone was throwing it away because it's thin and it's gross and nobody likes it. Would you like it? But no, in all seriousness, I never cared for thins at all. Um, they break on you. There's nothing nice about thin picks. Anyway, moving on to functionality on Functional Friday. I started with like a medium-ish pick and I gradually got thicker and thicker as I got older and older. <laughs> but it wasn't until college that I started using Jazz 3s, which would be these guys here. There we go. Jazz 3 is a, a solid pick. You're not gonna bend that uh, while you're playing. But it's also a small diameter pick or small in size. It's It's really cool a lot of people play with them they're they're really popular and i like how you know precise it feels in its size as well as its strength so all through college i when i stumbled across these i played these and then uh coming out of college uh so i played something like this when i was younger you know this is like the medium well this is still pretty heavy but it's like a you know regular size and when i got out of college and i started uh copper sign with the guys i ran into the guitar pedal shop and he had this guy right here it's the mummy by v picks um and this is a thick pick i don't know if it's going to focus here there we go so but man if you haven't tried one try one they're so cool they're, they're super cool and i played them almost exclusively for three years as i kind of got heavy into the the pop cover band scene in boston and then uh and then these came out, these Dunlop, uh, I think they're Dunlop. They're kind of like tortoise knockoffs. I've played a tortoise before and a real tortoise shell, which are highly illegal. So please don't encourage killing of animals for your playing. But if you stumble across a tortoise shell pick, even if it's 50 bucks, buy it. It's really, really cool. Um, but anyway, these are, these are kind of, I guess, maybe the closest thing in color, uh, but not necessarily feel. They just feel totally different. Anyway. Um, I play, I play these a fair amount now. I've kind of backed down from the mummy thing, but I also keep all three of these in my pocket at all times because depending on my mood that night, I might just be like, you know what? I want to struggle a little bit. I'm going to use this pick or I don't want to struggle. I'm going to go with the jazz three because that is by far the most accurate pick that I've ever played. Or I want to like make the string distort by like picking it with this aggressive pick. This has like a sandpaper feel around the around the sharp edge. It's a very cool pick. Um, and it kind of creates its own grit on a clean string just by digging in. Super cool. Super cool. Anyway, I encourage you guys to mess around with picks. Uh, I don't know what the right one for you is. As a professional, I've used all of them. And I tend to lean towards the Jazz 3 as my go-to. Um, I'd love to know what your guys' go-to is. I think as a professional player, if you're playing with a pick, you've come across a Jazz 3 before, and you may not have come across a Mummy or some of those other ones. So try out the Mummy. It's very functional. And on Functional Friday, I think it's important to, to kind of figure out what you want to do and where you want to go with the pick end of your playing, if you're going to pick. So I thought this would be a fun one to talk about. I can't give you a solid, this is the one to go with. But I will tell you, 
this month's giveaway, and please don't be upset that it, because it's not as cool as last month's giveaway, because last month's giveaway was, man, it was awesome, wasn't it? It was a pedal by Yellow Cake. Uh, and I'm going to keep doing pedals and gear and stuff like that. This month, it's going to be strings, and not just one pack. I'll, I'll get another pack, and I'll vary it up. Uh, I play 10 gauge, so it's probably going to be a 10 gauge string. So if you like 10 gauge strings and you want a couple packs, uh, you know, make sure to comment. You, I'm not going to only pick you once if you win. Don't don't think that like oh, I don't want to comment because I don't want to win strings. Win strings and then next month win whatever awesome thing comes next month. I'm going to do a really, really cool pedal soon. I want to make sure we get as many followers as possible so that it's even cooler. Uh, I want to give away a really, really cool pedal. And of course, the people who are like loyal and commenting all the time, they have a much better chance of winning these things. So keep it up, guys. I love the ideas. Thank you for for that idea of uh, my struggles as I was starting in the music scene. I think I will do that probably next Wednesday or the Wednesday after. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the support, guys. Make sure to tell your friends, subscribe, like as much as you can, comment. Uh, it helps the YouTube, YouTube algorithm. Um, and... I'll see you guys on Wednesday for Work Wednesday.